Hello, this is Daniel Danny with Solo Dynamics. Uh, we will give you a little tour of our uh, 25kW a day um, solar thermal heating system. It is December, I believe, 8th, uh, around noon. We have temperatures of 7 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we got some snow yesterday, as you can see. Uh, wind chill is about, oh, I say minus 14, minus 15, somewhere there. Um, our system is probably somewhere around 180 degrees up there right now. Um, pushing the water straight to our two 80 gallon solar tanks and um, pumping that to our radiant heat at around 130 degrees uh, and returns around 110, 115 back into the tanks and we get a temperature in the house of um, assisted of around 70 to 73 maximum. So we'll go inside and take a look at the system here. Here's our control system and try to zoom in here. But we have 184 degrees um, up on the roof. Uh, it's it's going to 130 degrees in our tanks and we have our thermometer outside is about 9 degrees Fahrenheit um, but it, we get some a little bit of that is from the Sun I think the thermometer heats up a little bit but um, our weather on Android it's saying 7 with a wind chill of 12 minus 12 so it feels like minus 12 Fahrenheit. We got 70 degrees Fahrenheit outside, 180 up on the roof. Um, and um, our system is running great. This is the most of the radiant heat. It's uh, on the floor, radiant heat, uh, PEX tubing. Show you the uh, system here. It's our solar pump. It's a Grunfoss um, smart pump. Automatically. Um, regulates its speed um, based on the uh, temperature and this is our radiant heat our expansion tank water softener filter system um, we have a pressure regulator here, water pressure from the main. These are our twin 80 gallon solar tanks. This is our thermostat from up on the roof. Um, comes here we have a switch that um, uh, goes from one tank to the other uh, when this tank reaches its maximum temperature then the switch 
turns on this tank and starts heat, heating it up. The water from the city goes through our PEX, which is about 900 feet worth. Uh, so in the summertime, technically, it'll, it'll cool the house since we're pumping 47 degree uh, Fahrenheit temperature uh, water. And um, um, by the time it reaches the tanks, it'll warm up to whatever temperature is in the house, you know, roughly 70 degrees. Um, so the tanks, the solar tanks will never get 45 degree temperature water again. Um, and that keeps, during the summertime, since the radiant heat is off, it keeps the water fresh uh, through the whole system. It's a open system. Um, this is our current fast pump for the radiant heat. And we have a high efficiency GE natural gas uh, 55 gallon uh, backup. So right now we're technically heating the house assisting um, with our solar system and uh, during the night uh, the gas uh, kicks in and right away we noticed uh, with the rain and heat that our furnace which is a forced air furnace um, has uh, dramatically uh, cut back um, on its cycles so this is our system it is uh, uh, absolutely one of the best investments we've made and um, uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't have any problems um, for the next 20 years at least uh, if we're in this house uh, of heating our domestic hot water and and uh, supplementing some of our heating costs during the winter uh, we'll show you our PEX over here that we installed uh, these are the evacuated tubes best in the industry um, the system is uh, designed and built by Solar Panel Plus right here in the United States and uh, one of the best um, SRCC's ratings of 13 uh, or the 30 tube system is about 13 to 14 um, uh, kW kilowatt hours a day um, this is a rating heat it's insulated uh, it's on the floor um, these are the leftovers of fins that we use to uh, staple the rating heat underneath so there you go solar dynamics Look up on our website and our um, Facebook and uh, keep you up to date to solar, thermal, and PV technology. Uh, by the way, uh, we're looking at putting a new uh, PV system uh, on this house uh, next spring, soon as the winter goes away. And uh, so we look forward to that. Thank you for watching. Take care.